about four years ago, I graduated uh, from a four-year university with a degree in English literature. This is the most expensive piece of paper ever. It was, it cost me 60000 And uh, it actually cost more than that because I had scholarships. I was a distinguished scholar. I was also a low-income student. I was a young mother. Um, I had my second daughter at 21. And... I'm saddled with college debt. I was the first of my family to graduate college, and yet I'm no better off than they were. I actually feel like I'm worse off because as a non-traditional student, you know, traditional students are struggling right now with college debt, and because I had a family, I'm that much more struggling my college debt I cannot pay. No matter what I do, no matter what kind of deferment I try and make, the loan companies just print their own money. It's not anything I can ever get out of. It's not, you know, I can't declare bankruptcy and have it gone. Um, if I call and I ask, you know, is there a way that I can declare hardship, they tell me no with private loans. I feel as though I did absolutely everything that I was supposed to do. You know, I had hurdles, obstacles that I needed to overcome, and I overcame them. I did what no one else in my family did. I graduated college. I have a degree, and yet after I earned that degree, I went and I made $8 an hour at a cafe. And then to support my family, I cleaned houses. I cleaned other people's houses. And that was the $8 an hour job and the cleaning houses. It was a low moment for me because I felt like, what did I go to college for? Why am I saddled with this debt? And I'll be saddled with it for a lifetime because I haven't even put a serious dent in it yet. And it's been four years. And, you know, when someone asked me, you know, was college worth it for many, for a few years, and probably even now if someone asked me, I would say college is the worst financial decision I ever made. And I wonder about the American dream because I feel as though in a lot of ways it's died for me or at least it's on life support because you it was a shock to me that I did what I was supposed to do you know even despite those obstacles you know being a, uh, a young mother I worked incredibly hard and I thought wrongly because this is what I was always told, that you work hard, you can move up that social ladder. ladder, And that has yet to happen for me. I have been in the same apartment for six years. I am saddled with debt. I can't move up. I can't move up and out. And I'm not exactly sure how that gets better.